Welcome to Soul Lab, a Christian-based podcast utilizing logic, history, science, and scripture to better understand the Christian faith. And now your hosts, Delaney and AJ. Hello, and welcome back to the Soul Lab podcast. We're your hosts, Delaney and AJ. We're here. You want to talk? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. We are here to talk about angels. All we know about angels, history, yep. biblical history. I don't have history. I mean, they're biblical about angels. So. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that we've learned through yeah. researching scripture. Yes. And I don't, I don't, the, the cool thing about this podcast that Delaney and I do is that we don't talk about our research. And so we actually genuinely don't know what the other person really researched. Is that really cool or is that the dangerous thing we do? I right? think it's fun. That? Yeah. Like a stupid thing we do. Sometimes we accidentally research completely different yes, topics. And we fight. And we fight about right. it. <laughs> but sometimes we just go we go into this with completely different research that we get to share. And it. We always know the topic to clarify. We're not like, oh, no, so let us no. Yeah, we know yeah, the yeah. topic. It just sometimes we go on right. we know different rabbit holes. The general idea yes. of what we want to research. Right. Yeah, but sometimes she will focus more on one area than I will. Right. Um and it's really cool. Sometimes we will both have separate information on the same subject. Sometimes and it, we'll have the same information and different opinions. Different yeah. Information. And sometimes we inter we read the same thing, but we interpreted it differently. Yes. Yeah. And AJ tells me why I'm wrong. Yeah. And I tend to agree. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah. So today's topic, right. Is all about angels. Everything that we know about angels, according to scripture, yeah. Old Testament, New Testament. And I'll just tell you, I'm going to summarize kind of what my research looks like today. I have some general information on angels that I found in scripture and then I have their angels, the purpose of angels is oh, one, is one category. One. And then I, that one. I have a list of the, of the only named angels that are in scripture and oh, that's interesting. information about them. And then I have angelic titles, which I learned about. I did not know this until my research. And this is actually something really cool. I found a lot of a uh, angel related misconceptions, things that I thought were true that are definitely not true based on my research. But also things I've heard other people say that I now realize are definitely not founded by scripture. So that's that's pretty much everything that I've got. What about you? I mostly have the purpose of angels with a million stories about different ones. I also have put my favorite angel story we can tell maybe Ooh. later. Yeah. Maybe we, you want to end on the story? Yeah. Let's do that. It's from the Bible. I like that. Yep. That's good. I would yeah. hope so. <laughs> that's good. What do you want to start with? Do you want to start with, do you want to start with where you found angels in scripture? Yeah, it's extensive, but first, let's, I think, can I do this first? Sure. Okay. So first, what are angels? That's for you and me who grew up in church mm -hmm. and in religious backgrounds. For us, it's an easy thing. A lot of people don't even know what an angel is. Right. Some people think it's a deceased person who comes back. I was going to talk about that later. Okay, yeah. good. With that being said, when we discuss angels, what we're referring to, mm -hmm. and correct me if I'm wrong, is yeah, go for it. beings that are sent from God. Not deceased human beings, mm -hmm. but like creatures sent from God to communicate with us. And they have all kinds of different purposes and missions they've completed. Yeah. And doing that. We're not talking about souls, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Okay. And if I can add to it, to summarize, and I'm going to go, I'm going to let Delaney talk first. I'm just going to say this, and then you can go to your thing. To summarize angels. So angels are a creation of God, just like humans, animals, plants. They're a creation of God. And as a, they're a creation of God, but they're also a creation that has a specific intent or purpose for God to use, which we'll talk more about in a little bit. And I just realized this. They're the only creation of God that is actually, that is a spirit, which I'm going to talk more about later. That, what do you mean by that spirit? I'll, I'll get to, so one of the things that I found is that, so angels are, they're actually spirits. And so that's mentioned in scripture is that they're not physical Oh, right. yes. Yeah. So they're not like, it's not like a, a dog, which is a physical dog. Like angels right. can actually change their form and shape yes. and appear to people differently. Yeah. And so I said to say, they're actually not, they don't have necessarily a specific physical form. They're more of a spirit, which scripture talks about, which I'll go into more later. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to talk about, but they're basically, they're a creation of God. They're a tool for God to use. That's, there's a hitch there. Because there are... Okay. Not to sound cliche, there's good angels and there's bad angels. Yes. Because at the beginning of time, excuse me, what's that? And we should probably time. clarify. Yeah. The beginning of time, mm -hmm. well, not the beginning of time, the beginning, beginning of our time that we know of, actually a few years before our time, we're not sure exactly how many, there was only good angels that we were aware of. And there's this whole mm -hmm. battle that happened in heaven where one angel had this plot, turned a third of the angels in heaven against God, mm -hmm. and those fell. And those are... 
bad angels. Yeah. Bad disease. Those are bad angels. Right, right. Yeah. So early on, when so here's the, the idea, or here's like the the most common belief is that angels were created during creation, during in Genesis, during the creation story. And that when God created everything, God said it is good. Wait a minute. You believe they were created in the Garden of Eden? No, before oh, the Garden of Eden. Yes, okay. Garden of Eden is, cre- is near the end of the creation story, right? No, I, I hadn't heard it like that before. It's interesting. Yeah. Okay. I had heard it that the creation story was the Garden of Eden, and the angels were created completely separate. It's not even recorded. Correct. But Garden of Eden would be one of the last creations. So God created time, space, matter. He created the heavens and the earth. He created plants. He created animals. And then Eden is talked about after all of that. We're going to do a podcast on this because I think we're going to butt heads on that one. Why? I don't believe that. Oh, you think Eden was around before God created time, space, no, and matter? No, I don't. Put it. I don't think that we're going to have a podcast on it. Okay. Like, I don't want to get in a rabbit hole. It's going to be a really big rabbit hole. Well, and I think it's going to be a really interesting podcast. So to go back just a little bit. So what I was trying to get across is that angels have been around since before God created humans. Yeah. They were actually, angels were actually part of creation to some extent. Yes. They probably didn't have authority to make decisions on creation, but they were there to witness creation, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I say to say God created angels, created everything, said it's good. Everything's good. This is before sin entered the world, right? And so we know that God created them. We know that God created them with specific intents and purposes, which we'll talk more about later. We know that at first they were created all good, and then the fall, right. which we get from the book of Revelations, um, the fall happens, right, where the third of the angels leave. You have what's now called fallen angels, which are following Lucifer, but then you still have the good angels. We call them good angels, but good angels that still worship and support God. Um, most of my conversation today is about the good angels, not the fallen angels. Okay. And you're going to discuss Lucifer later. Is that right? Yes. Good. Okay. Because uh, people yes. might not know who he is. So we're going to come back to him. Yes. So the yeah. leader of the fallen angels That's is known by many friend. names, but Lucifer, Satan. Anyways, yeah. I learned a ton researching that actually. And that could actually be its own podcast episode, just everything we know about Satan. But I wanted to dive into it a little bit later, just so people have an understanding better of angels. That's a yeah, general sure. brief summary of angels. There's like a ton we're about to go into. Um, but first, you had something. Oh, I did. Yes. Do you want me to talk about the all the, the verses when they're discussed? Is that what you meant? We could. So that's my next. That's thing. probably a good thing to do because my first thing yeah. is literally a list of verses and what they tell us about angels. Okay. That's my first. thing. I think thing. we mean the same topic then, and you yeah. probably would just add to mine. Yeah, maybe I, we can just bounce off each other. I w- spent a lot of time telling these, in, and I was like, okay, I think it's clear my point. I didn't finish, so let's just go mm. on with that. Okay. Oh, that's good. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. Okay. Not, not first as good off, as oaks, though. I just discovered what a chai latte is. And it's freaking delicious. Chai lattes. Okay. There are many different times there are scripture when angels are discussed and mm-hmm. having different purposes. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you know how many times angels are mentioned in scripture? Just no, in general. Do you? Roughly 300 times. Wow. Which surprised me because I really, I mean, like I read the whole Bible, but you don't realize something until you're like. I believe like that, it because I typed in the word angel and started copying down different verses and I gave up. Because like, there's so many. Yeah. yeah. I was like, there's like a good way. Okay. It's a lot. So there's a couple different pers- pur- purposes that I just kind of called out, and you can add, and there may be more that I missed. There may mm-hmm. be some that... So the first one we're going to discuss is there are t- times in which angels are charged to protect us. Yes. Yeah, that's a big one. So angels are a huge protector of humankind. <laughs> and I just jotted down a few examples. There's Psalms 91.11. Psalms 91.11 says, For he will command his angels concerning guard over you. Mm-hmm. It says guard to you. I think it's supposed to be over you, but irregardless... The point being that when God protects us, he assigns mm-hmm. angels to be our guardians yes, and to look over us. And, and then... Do you think that the angels are sent to protect us just physically or what's your belief there? Mentally, physically, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what about like your soul? Like from Satan? Yes. I think it's the mental part. Okay. I think your mental is your guard to your soul. Maybe some a therapist, I think that. <laughs> but okay. I think, I think that that's the passage which... To enter, and I can't remember what book I read. It may have been Screw Tapes, where it's about angels, the fallen angels, mm-hmm. and how they enter people's thoughts. It may not have been Screw Tape Letters, but I think it was. But if it, Screw Tape Letters is by C.S. Lewis, sure. it's a story about how angels, fallen angels, think to deceive mm-hmm. because their purpose is to the opposite protect us, their purpose is to bring us down. Mm-hmm. So when they do that, they enter little like chasms in your brain. Which would be your mental, you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of where I think that concept comes from. So it sure. not be, it's not biblical. It's C.S. Lewis, but mm-hmm. it's just interesting. Okay, Psalms 34, 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him 
and delivers. I also had an Exodus 23, 20, mm -hmm. Matthew 26, 53, Daniel 6, 22. And then my personal favorite, which you want me to tell at the end, I think, which is 2 Kings 6, 17, which we'll tell later. You want to? Okay. Yeah. So these are all verses that speak about how angels protect human beings yes. in some way. Yeah, they're okay. trying to protect us. I agree There's with that. other purposes, like there's actually times when angels are celebrating our salvation, which mm -hmm. I thought was interesting that their their purpose is to celebrate us. Um, yes. What is, what's the verse where it's like Luke fifteen ten. I don't know if that's it, but it's the one that talks about how every time that someone like, a, it's like the prodigal son idea. Like Luke every time, 15, 10. is that it? Yeah. Can, we, can we read it? I, real quick? I knew exactly what you're going to say. Cause you love this verse. Yeah. Yeah. Luke 15, 10. The, even the angels were Oh, the parable of the lost coin. That's, I was getting confused. Oh, prodigal yeah. son is similar because that's the idea that the son came back to his father. Yeah. Um, they told him on the same time too, I think. So parable of the lost coin, what woman having 10 silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and look diligently until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors saying, rejoice with me for I have found the coin that I have lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Love it. I love it. So they feel, can I tag something on? Mm -hmm. So not only do they protect us, the not the fallen angels, but the good angels. Right. They also feel emotions, which I think is really interesting. I'd never thought about that before. But angels feel joy. They feel anger. They show emotions. So Luke 2.13, James 2.19, Job 38, 6 through 7. And so Delaney and I are going to reference these verses just so you guys know, okay, we're not just making this up. We, we have evidence for this. Obviously, we can't read every single verse we're going to reference, but we're listening. So if you want to read them, you can. However, uh, we'll try and keep, we'll reference every verse to the current topic we're talking about. I do want to read one more. Can I read one of mine real quick? I'm probably going to read a few today. Is that okay? okay? Oh yeah, for sure. So Luke 2, 13 talks about, uh, suddenly there was an angel, a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest. And so just another emotion of like, they can feel, they can feel praise, praise for another. And we know they can feel envy because of Lucifer. Lucifer yeah. All right. What else you got? Okay. Other times, angels have been sent by God to deliver messages. So they're also mm -hmm. messengers, and that would be exemplified in, I didn't write it down actually, but when <laughs> the angel came to, no, that's in Acts. Acts mm -hmm. eight twenty six is when Mary was like, oh, I have an angel. The Lord came and said, I'm going to yep. be pregnant. Yep. I think that was Gabriel that came. It through, was, right? yep. yeah. I want to make sure, but somebody wrestled with God. Oh, I forgot to take notes on that. When the, when the angel wrestles with it's Israel, it's Jacob. No. Israel his name's not Israel at the time. No, but it's made Israel because I wrestled with God. That's what Israel But means. before, his name was Israel. Jacob. Was it Jacob? It's Genesis 22 through 32. And to summarize, it's Jacob wrestling with a man who we later find out is God. And Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket. Jacob's hip was put out of joint, and he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So Jacob knew whoever he was wrestling with had the ability to bless him. And he said to him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have sh striven with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, why is that? Yes, my name. And there he blessed him. And I think that's it. For, so Jacob called the place Peniel. Yeah. Which I want to see what that means. The face of God. So. Ah. For I have seen God face to face and my life has been delivered. Mm. So that wasn't even an angel. That was just God himself. Just God himself. So, that was God himself. I think some people theorize that that was actually Jesus that he wrestled with, which is interesting. I've yeah. heard other people say it was Michael the Archangel, who they also believe is Jesus. Right. I've heard that as well. So anyways, what else you got? Last section is... Times angels worshiped God. Yes. Psalms 148 2 mm -hmm. and Revelations 5 11 through 12 discuss times angels worshiped God. Mm -hmm. And that is all the little examples of angels and their purposes. I gotcha. Anything else you want to talk about before I go to mine? No, go ahead. All right. So you talked about a few things. So we talked earlier that angels were created by God, which is referenced in Genesis 2 1, and that they were good, which is also references in Genesis 2 1. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Genesis 2, 1 speaks of how they were created good because everything was good at the time of creation. Colossians 1, 16 talks about how they were created by God. Genesis 1, 31 as well. And we know they possess intelligence, that they're not like robots that God controls, that they have their own intelligence. 
That's referenced in 2 Corinthians 11.3. We know they have emotions. I referenced those earlier. We know that they're given positions of authority, which is interesting. So, for example, like Markle the... Markle. For example, Michael the Archangel. He, he leads the army of angels. He's the general. Yeah, yeah. he's the general of the angels. And da, 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 they are spirits. Okay, I wanted to talk about this because okay. I thought this was kind of interesting. But because I ne- I'd never really thought about this, that angels, they're not like any other creature. Yeah. They're very different. They're the only creation of gods that of intelligence or really of anything that was around during creation. And because of that, it, I mean, that alone makes them different. But it, I think they're more spirit related. And we know they have the ability to change form. We've seen that. They can appear as a man or show themselves as, as angels in a, in a different form. And but I want to read Hebrews 114. <clears throat> so in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 1, this is towards the end. So keep in mind, we were talking about this the other day. We don't actually know who wrote Hebrews. I think there's theories about it. You can kind of deduce or try to based on what Hebrews talks about. So I can't tell you for sure who the author is, but I can tell you that the whoever the author is at the end of chapter one is talking about angels. And he ends it saying, are they not all ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? And the, the ministering spirits, that word that's used, there's two big things we can take out of that. The word used for spirits seems to imply that they are not physical creatures like the rest of cre- creation. Ministering... Um, implies that they are here to not just protect us physically, but protect our souls as well. That are supposed to minister to us as well. Another thing from Hebrews. So we also know that they intermingle with humans, which I think is really interesting too, that they are just in our day-to-day lives and we would never know okay. it. That I want to come back to later. Yeah. I'm going to read it. There's a, No, read it. Yeah. It's the verse, right? Yeah. Is it the... Sorry. Good. Hebrews 13.2? It is yes. Hebrews 13.2. Yes. Is now a good time to read it? Yes. Okay. Hebrews 13, 2, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. And so I'm reading an ESV, which is a word for word translation. So some of these things might not make like perfect sense. But when he says, so the whole point of this chapter is about doing things that are pleasing to God. And he starts out saying, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers. Don't forget to be loving to others for thereby some have entertained angel unawares. What he's saying is some are some people, some creatures you interact with are actually angels and you would have no idea. They're just kind of mixed in and because they can take, I mean, since they're, they're spirits and we know they can change shape, they could take the form of really anything and you would never know. And so what God's saying, like, you better be nice to everyone because you may be interacting with an angel. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought that was cool. Wild. And I've heard so many stories present day stories mm-hmm. of people who have interacted with angels. Lots and lots of storage. I just find it fascinating. Yeah, I struggle with that. I've had a lot of people, I have a friend actually from, uh, from, from like, I think middle school who was in a horrible accident, survived it. And I don't remember the whole story, but I remember that when he survived it, he claims that an angel saved him. And what he says is that he said a, the, he was in a car accident and someone ripped him out of the vehicle and that no one could find the man afterwards. And he swears it was like, it was an angel. And do I think things like that happen? Absolutely. I think sometimes people get a little theatrical. So I don't know how often it happens. I want to cut that story in case that friend hears. This <laughs> I know. <Yes. laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying he's lying. I'm just saying some people. So could I be know theatrical. people who are dramatic who've seen angels. I know people who are not dramatic who've seen angels. Yeah. And I believe it definitely our experience. It says so in Hebrews 13 too. No, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so. just think some people like to have cool, unique stories, and mm-hmm. so that's why I tend to believe people more when they are the type that are okay. not theatrical. So. Um, my mother, dramatic. who is a bit dramatic, but, you know. She's definitely going to see this podcast. So. Yes, it was, she, <laughs> she knows she's dramatic. But this story. I, I don't think you're dramatic, Kim. <laughs> this story, I don't think she's being dramatic. So let me just tell you the story. Okay. So okay. she was working at an airport. She worked at a small airport in our small, small town. Yep. Not this one, but the one I, the other one up the road. And she mm-hmm. grew up in, I mean, she was working at this airport. And she, I think she worked behind the counter. And it's not, it's like a private airport. So like, it's not like people are coming and going. She's just chilling there doing homework. Mm-hmm. She was in college and she was going through a really hard time with her parents. And this guy comes in and he said, oh, hey. And she knew everybody. She worked, she knew everybody mm-hmm. there. She's like, hey, how you doing? He's like, hey, I'm just stopping by. My name's Charlie. And he gave her encouraging words. He helped her through a bunch of the problems she had with facing with her parents. And he leaves and she goes over to the glass. There was no car and he was nowhere to be seen. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, could he have walked away? Yes. 
could he have maybe just been like a parked around the corner? I mean, there's a lot over there, so mm-hmm. no. But you know, but she believes to this day that her angel's name is Charlie, and so whenever oh. something cool happens, she's like, oh, "Charlie had my back," and I think it's a cool. Yeah. You know, even if it's not an angel, it's cool to have that like awareness that your angel's there and having a name for him is kind of cool. Mm. Yeah. So you believe in that everyone has an angel. Ooh, yeah, good question. I believe everyone's assigned an angel. Oh, interesting. All right. Have you, uh, did you come across some other names for angels when you're doing your research? No, what do you have? They are called the sons of God, which definitely confused me because when I was reading Genesis and I read the words sons of God, yeah. I assumed that meant humans until I started researching it. And it's always referencing angels when it says oh, that, interesting. which I thought was interesting, which I'm actually going to get more into later. So sons of God, which is in Job, it's mentioned in Job 1, 6, as well as in Genesis. They're called heavenly beings, Psalms 89.6, heavenly host, Psalms 148.2, holy ones, Psalms 88.5, and in Daniel 4.13, they're also called holy ones. So lots of different names there. And of course, they're called angels like 300 times. Another thing we know about angels is that, I said this, actually, no, I didn't say this earlier, but another thing we know about angels is that they are, they are eternal, which is mentioned in Luke 20.36. And when I say eternal, I just mean like they don't die. They don't age like other creations that they've been around since creation and whatever number were created seems are still alive today. We know they have supernatural powers. They have special like abilities. And we see that because in Luke 118 through 20 is where the angel makes Zechariah the mute. Let me pull it up. It is Zechariah. Yep. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I just wanted to make sure it's actually Zechariah. But yeah, basically, he, it, the angel says he uses his power to mute. And then Revelations 14, 6 talks about more powers, and obviously they can change their shape. And so we know they have abilities. And I talked about being present during creation, which is mentioned in Job 38, 1 through 7. They do not marry because there's the reference to, I think Jesus has asked the question, who will we be married to in heaven? And he says that you will be like the angels with not marrying anyone that I, I guess I never really thought of. They're not omniscient. They're not all-knowing, right? Like they were created by God and they were there during creation and they're probably really intelligent, but they don't know everything like God does. And we know that because in Matthew 24, 36, it talks about how that's when Jesus says, no one knows the hour, not the son of man and not the angels. They're not omnipresent because if we look at Daniel 10, 12 to 13, and I think that's where, yep, yeah, that's where the angel is saying, comes to Daniel and says, basically says, hey, I'm sorry, I just got here. I was busy with someone else dealing with something else. And so we know they're not omnipresent, so they're not everywhere. And we know they're not omnipotent. They're not capable of just doing anything. Otherwise, Lucifer would be a much bigger threat in the fallen angels to us. So they are limited to some capacity. Um, it seems like they're all masculine. They're all males. And I say that for a few reasons, but I mean, one, every time an angel is referenced, it's a he. It could be that they're like some sort of neutral gender, but it seems like they're he's. So I don't think they have a gender. I think that it's done that way because the reader back then was male because men. No, I agree with that. Yeah. It's like in, in scripture, it, it says he. However, logically, they could just be some sort of neutral non-gender. Gender's confined to humans mm-hmm. on this planet. Animals, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gender's confined to this planet. Yes. Yes. I, th- I mean, I agree with you. I think so. I do know they have the ability to reproduce with humans, though, which I want to talk Angels. more about in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oof, that's from the Apocrypha. I thought it was until today. Yeah. I, and today I found something and I was like, oh, how did I miss that? And it's because of my misunderstanding of, of a word earlier. And to, to, actually, this is the next part. Gen- I'm actually going to read this, but the Nephilim, right? So the Nephilim is only mentioned in Genesis 6. Genesis 6. I'm going to start with it. Okay. So Genesis 6 is talking about how the world at the time, so this is pre-flood, is becoming more and more corrupted. And it says this, When man began to multiply on the face of the land, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God, so keep in mind earlier we said the sons of God means angels, all right? The sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days. Nephilim and, are giants. Right? And, those of you who don't know. and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. These were then mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. And so some, I, I'm trying to figure out the way this is worded. I don't know if Nephilim is actually like their offspring, 
But I've heard some people say they think that the Nephilim is actually the offspring of the angels mating with the women at the time. And some people have said that they're, they were just giants around that time. I know the Book of Enoch speaks more to it, but the Book of Enoch is also incredibly tr- unreliable, untrustworthy. But I thought the more interesting thing that we can take away is the fact that we know that there were fallen angels who did have sex or mate with women, which I thought was interesting. So that is just like some general information that I found throughout scripture on the angels. Any Very questions about that? No. All right. Well, that concludes part one of our two-part series on angels. Yep. Just to recap, we talked about, Delaney talked about what are angels. We talked about where we find angels in scripture and what we can learn from that. Mm-hmm. And so that concludes part one. And so just, you know, stay tuned for part two coming out here in a couple of weeks where, where we're going to talk about the purpose of angels. We're going to talk about named angels, okay? Because there are some named angels that are actually named. And we're going to end on something that's probably incredibly controversial, definitely going to ruffle some feathers, which is angelic misconceptions, right? Things that people think are true about angels that are not true. Okay. We have a big announcement to make. For those that don't know, Delaney and I have been dating for about two and a half years, and we are no longer dating. So I know that might come as a shock, but that's because we are now engaged. Show the ring. We have been for a few We have been engaged. We just haven't announced it yet. Yeah. So we are now engaged, which is super exciting. And yeah, now I get to marry my uh, podcast host. Yes. And I get to marry my perfectionist. It drives me insane. I'll take perfectionist. You know, I, yeah, I love you. I'm very happy okay, to marry you. It'll you. be very fun. Yeah. Thank- I'm getting excited. I'm going to make you an office in the house. That's good. I need an office. Yes. This would have been my office. I'm making you an office. So I'm going to have the kitchen back because I want the kitchen. Yeah. Yes. And what do I get in this deal? It's me. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. And my All dogs right. get a dad that like you a lot. Yeah, I do love your dogs. All right. Thanks for staying tuned for part one. Feel free to subscribe and like and follow and all the good things. And join us for part two next week after next. Two weeks. Yeah. Week after next. That's right. Bye, guys. I've been your host, AJ. And I'm Delaney. <laughs> See you guys, guys next time. Thank you for listening to another episode of Soul Lab with AJ and Delaney. You can find all materials referenced from today's episodes in the show notes. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our website for more episodes and stay tuned for the next release. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.